Are we willing to be fools for Christ? Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. It's a popular saying which comes from William Shakespeare's play, Romeo and Juliet, in which Juliet seems to argue that it does not matter that Romeo is from her family's rival house of Montague. The reference is used to state that the names of people or things do not affect who or what they are. But in our Christian Catholic tradition, a change in name can be significant, especially as it pertains to the mission given by divine authority. In our Gospel story for today, St. Luke narrates a subtle change in the name of Simon to Simon Peter, which was affirmed in Luke chapter 6, verse 14. When our Lord gave the mission to the twelve apostles, many said, Simon, whom he named Peter. This change of name reflects a change that has taken place in Peter's heart. Peter became one of the closest of the twelve apostles to Christ. Called Simon, he was given the name Peter, meaning rock, after Jesus described him as the rock upon which the church would be built. In our reading today, Peter goes from addressing Jesus from Master to addressing him as Lord. He realizes that the great catch of fish was a result of Jesus acting with divine power. Our responsible psalm reveals this truth, where it says, To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. The process of change is gradually revealed as the gospel story unfolds. Jesus gets into a boat, not just any boat, but the one belonging to Simon. This is a sign of how the Lord enters one's life on his own initiative, according to his timing. Then the Lord asked Simon to put out into the deep. The Lord is asking Peter to go beyond his comfort zone and do what would normally appear unreasonable or even foolish. If they had not caught any fish all night long, what chance is there catching any now that the sun has risen. Peter voices his objection, but chooses to obey. And the results were astonishing. They catch more fish than even two boats can handle. Peter realizes at this point that he is in the presence of divine authority, and at once he feels unworthy by saying, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. Reflecting on Peter's words in the light of our first reading today, we can say that he may have considered himself wise with respect to fishing, but he became a fool by putting out into deep water at the command of Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, what Peter learned is a lesson for us as well. We naturally prefer the wisdom of remaining to be in control and doing things our way, even though all our other efforts leave us empty-handed and frustrated. Jesus is asking us to be fools and try to do things His way according to his unreasonable instructions. The result would be astonishing and humbling, 
far greater than anything we could accomplish on our own. By whatever name we are known today, may we remain faithful to our identity as sons and daughters of God and committed to the mission of following our Lord Jesus Christ. And let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear Lord Jesus, you have called us by name to be your missionary disciples. May you grant us the grace to follow you, even though your directives seem at times humanly unreasonable. Help us to be attentive and obedient to your will. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May God bless our families. May God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.